Good morning, America. This is Josh Engelberg coming to you live at 7 a.m. Uh, today we got a special treat for you. This is uh, his name's Aaron. He's a uh, what it says here on the paper is Chihuahua observer. Uh, uh yeah, Chihuahua uh, zoologist actually. Zoologist. Yeah. All right. So uh, nice fancy term for yourself. Uh, so I mean, I, I paid money for the PhD. I would, I would expect to be addressed as such, and I think I emailed your people about it. So. All right, uh, so Aaron, Ph.D. Uh, uh, well, it'd be Dr. Aaron, Chihuahua expert. Okay, sir. Uh, so, so what do you what do you do for uh, what, what do you do? Um, well, I spend most of my days um, gathering information on the uh, beautiful species of fauna that is native to our um, our suburban homes, and it is called uh, the Chihuahua. Or Canis Shitmapanticus. Is that right? That's the official term? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I took Latin in high school, and uh, I think it is, in fact, um, something like that. Good. Cool. All right, then. So walk us, walk us through uh, one, of, one of your typical days uh, of observing Chihuahuas? Yeah, well, um, sometimes sometimes we have a great day. Sometimes we can uh, go down to the local animal shelter and we can see maybe five, six chihuahuas um, all just doing their natural thing, um, which is uh, usually, um, you know, some sort of bizarre cultural ritual that we are not really sure of yet. Um, practicing their language it's uh, again some sort of secret chihuahua language which we haven't really delved into um it, a lot of times it sounds like barking um that leads a lot of uneducated people to make the mistake that a chihuahua is in fact a dog it is not a dog so it, what, what, what would you consider it then it is a chihuahua is that its own species absolutely the chihuahua is the superior life form on earth it is the apex predator it has evolved so that it needs to do absolutely nothing in order to survive the chihuahua does not hunt yet is always well fed it does not move that much but it is always warm the chihuahua has physically transcended what evolution has required of it Wow, some some very high level thoughts there from a uh, Chihuahua observer. So, so a lot of people, you know, Christmas time's coming up, and uh, a lot of people are going to be finding these these superior species under their Christmas trees. What do you? What kind of advice do you have for for those people uh, receiving such a such a superior being? See, this is this is a mistake, and once again, this goes to the uneducated. Uh, extenuating the myth that chihuahuas are in fact dogs. One does not receive a chihuahua for Christmas. The chihuahuas place themselves into the homes of humans where they will live like some sort of um, large parasite. Um, They will be well fed, they will be warm, they will be groomed, um, all for the price of nothing to the chihuahua. And it will live out its whole life doing this very thing, sucking any sort of monetary gains and happiness from its host life. And you truly believe all of this this, re- this research, right? Is that, is that what you call it, research? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, what Your life my, work. It is my life work. I have a book coming out, um, which you can buy. It is called Chihuahua Dadawa, which is a um, ancient Aztec phrase, meaning uh, the Chihuahua is love. Um, Good. I'm, bra- I'm glad you brought that part up, so uh, we're going to touch on that real quick before we have to get off the show. Uh, so Chihuahuas and Aztecs, uh, apparently, I learned somewhere in, in back in high school, there's a re- relationship there. Uh, what is what's what is that relationship? Well, you see, um, when the Chihuahua first arrived on Earth 2,000 years ago, it found its home. Are you suggesting the Chihuahua is extraterrestrial? Oh, absolutely. There is no doubt in my mind such a superior life form could not have developed on Earth. Um, okay. okay. Obviously, it had to develop independently from all of us, um, which 
lent to its great bodily structure, um, its long lifespan, um, its fuzzy face. Anyway, the Aztecs, uh, the Mesoamerican people, um, when the Chihuahua arrived on Earth, saw the Chihuahuas descending from the sky. We actually have a piece of the ancient Aztec Book of the Dead here. Um, uh, Chichen Itza. Um, we can read, it says, The Chihuahuas have come. Let the people rejoice. The Chihuahuas come on wings of dragons. They roll across the ground like the mighty horses of the plains. The Chihuahuas are here. Let the people rejoice. And as we can see, the Aztecs were quickly subjugated by the Chihuahuas who had recently entered Earth's atmosphere, found the Mesoamericans, and um, that's actually why we see such um, vibrant Mesoamerican culture, why we see the pyramids, why we see the human sacrifices, the feathers, um, song and flower. We get all of this from the Chihuahua, which brought its own culture to the bits of humanity that were residing in Mesoamerica. Obviously, the Chihuahua deals in human sacrifice. Obviously, the Chihuahua is a master pyramid architect. Obviously, the Chihuahua makes calendars. These are all things that are related to Chihuahua culture, which the Chihuahua, being a gracious and benevolent deity, bequeathed unto its Mesoamerican subjects. Wow. Awesome. So we have a, group, we have a, we have a whole civilization of people uh, making human sacrifices, uh, taking psychedelic mushrooms, and uh, experiencing this extraterrestrial chihuahua. Uh, I find this all to be fascinating, and uh, certainly something we'll have to do a further segment on uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, Aaron, I really thank you for coming out. I, I, Doctor. Be honest, Dr. Aaron. Dr. Aaron, PhD, zoologist, uh, chihuahua studier, observer, excuse me. Expert. Uh, okay, he's an expert. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I, I myself feel enlightened. Uh, I feel like I've learned a lot today on the show. I hope the viewers have as well. I know they always do. Uh, yeah, any, any last words for you sign off? Chihuahuas. All right. Well, thank you, Aaron. Uh, all right. This is it for today's show. Hope to see you all again bright and early tomorrow morning on your way to work. Signing off.